Hey guys, thanks again for tuning in to another video. On this video, what we're going to be doing is removing that stubborn crankshaft pulley bolt on the front of the engine there on the pulley. Now, as you guys know, when you turn this thing, the crank turns with it. So we got to find a way to stop the crank from spinning so we can go ahead and loosen this bolt. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you guys how to go and do this with the tools that you probably already have at home. We'll need a nice sturdy piece of wood to support the engine. We're gonna need a box wrench, two flywheel bolts, and also a transmission to block bolt. We'll go ahead and thread our transmission bolt through our box wrench into the threads. Go ahead and make sure to tighten it all the way down. I want to go and make sure we have all the threads used in the block there. Okay, nice and threaded. Next, we'll take our two flywheel bolts and we'll go ahead and thread these in. Not all the way. We do want some bite on them. Now I'm gonna skip one hole and I'm gonna thread in the other flywheel bolt. So we'll skip one in between. Now essentially what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to take our wrench and we're going to want to wedge the wrench between these two flywheel bolts like so. Now I'm just going to adjust one of these flywheel bolts here. I want to get the wrench under the lip that the head of this flywheel bolt has just for better leverage. It's not needed. Just want to go ahead and get a little bit better leverage on it. There's a configuration. Once it's wedged in there like so, we can go ahead and move to the front of the engine and begin to loosen up our crankshaft bolt. We'll take our piece of wood. We'll place it right under the engine here to support the weight of the engine while we push down on it to loosen the bolt. Go ahead and take our breaker bar and let's break this baby loose. Bam! And that's all there really is to it, guys. Thanks again for watching this video. If it helped you, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you had a different way of doing it, go ahead and write me in the comment section. And always subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. Thanks again.